In a world where people with special abilities are allowed to live freely with normal people, things soon take a wrong turn when people start using their powers for evil. This also leads to the development of a powerful drug named Psyche, which can give people a power boost. After a long day of looking for a job, a guy named Connor arrives home and meets his sick mother, Mary, sleeping on the couch. He wakes her up and offers to make her coffee while she goes into her room to freshen up. She eventually returns to meet Connor to ask him a few questions about his upcoming interview. As they keep talking, Connor notices the bruises on Mary's hand and tries to check it, but she says she's fine. Despite this, Connor still looks worried, but Mary tells him to stop worrying about her. Later that day, he heads over to his interview, but he doesn't get the job because he has powers. As he's heading home, he decides to meet with a man named Big Joe to see if he can make some money off construction work. Even though Joe initially says there are no slots available, he decides to let Connor work for half pay. Connor still agrees to work, and while he's at it, he meets his friend, Travis. It then turns out that Joe hires people with powers to help complete his construction jobs quickly. The police department gets an anonymous tip about the operation, and they head down to the site with officers and drones. When the cops arrive, they ask Joe about the report, but he denies it. All the workers are then asked to come out for identification, and as the drone scans them, it is discovered that most of them have powers. The cops then tell the workers that they'll have to get a permit if they want to use their powers. As Travis complains about this, the cops are informed that one of the workers has still not lifted his head up for identification. They force him to do so, and it is discovered that the guy is wanted. Just as he is cuffed and taken to the car, he burns one of the cops in the face and tries to run. However, two robot cops are released from the drones, and without hesitation, they kill the criminal. Before things escalate, Connor and the others are told to lie on the ground. A while later, a detective named Park and his partner, Davis, raid a psych farm under the ownership of a famous businessman named Marcus. During the drug raid, the detectives also find some addicts who have overdosed on the powerful drug. Later that night, Connor stops by the store where Mary is working. However, just as he enters, he sees her boss, Dave, shouting at her for being clumsy. Connor doesn't like this, and he makes his feelings known. He even almost uses his powers, but Mary stops him from letting things escalate. Dave then tells him to leave, after which he also fires Mary. On their way home, Mary complains to Connor about his behavior at the store and how he shouldn't have shown that he had powers. Connor says he couldn't let it go, and as he realizes that his mom was clumsy at work because of her sickness, he tells her that she needs to start chemo. Mary says she doesn't have the money for it, but Connor says he'll do everything he can to get it. She then tells him to stop talking like his father, but Connor says he's not trying to be like him. It turns out that Connor's father also had powers but he tried to use them in the wrong way to get some money for his family, so he got killed by the police when Connor was kid. The next day, Connor heads out to find a job. As he talks to Travis while they wait for customers to come over, a van drives into their spot, and the driver, Garrett, says he's looking for someone with electric abilities for a quick job. Everyone stays clear of the van, and Travis also tells Connor that Garrett works for Marcus which is not a good thing. However, Connor needs the money, so he agrees to join Garrett, who is in the van with his partners, Maddie and Freddie. They then head over to a laboratory with an electric fence. Garrett tells Connor to use his powers to shut down the fence, but he looks scared of it. As Maddie asks if he's being a coward, Connor shows his true powers and uses his hands to cut out the power in the fence, leaving the others shocked. Just then, it turns out Garrett and his crew also have powers, and they break into the premises to steal some chemicals. While at it, a security guard sees them, but before he can do anything, they lock him up in the dumpster. Following this, they leave the premises with all they need, but the cops have now sent drones to look for them, after a report of a break-in at the lab. Despite this, Garrett doesn't look bothered, and he eventually stops the van and tells the others to remove the poster on it so that the van can turn white. This turns out to be a good plan, and the drone gets off their back. After a while, Garrett takes his team to a garage to meet Marcus's right-hand man, Rhino, who then takes them into a club to meet Marcus. Meanwhile, Marcus is in a meeting with a man named Wesley and his assistant, Copperhead. They tell Marcus that they're there to collect the money he owes them, but when they get nothing but apologies from him, Copperhead threatens to be back if he doesn't do what's right. As they leave, Garrett leads his team to meet Marcus, who looks surprised to see Connor. Garrett explains that Connor is the new guy who helped with breaking into the lab, and Marcus then seems to like him. He calls a girl named Nia to show Connor around while he talks to Garrett. As they start talking, 
Marcus says he's in a lot of debt and he doesn't need the chemicals Garrett stole again. Garrett doesn't get this, but Marcus says he has a new job that could bring in a lot of money. He then tells Garrett to try his best to recruit Connor to be part of his team for a bank robbery. Meanwhile, Nia tells Connor to take anything he wants at the bar, but he says he's not interested. He then asks her what she does for Marcus, but before she can respond, Rhino comes over to call her, saying the boss needs her. Following this, Garrett leaves the club with his team, and as he drops off Connor, he gives him a bonus for how well he worked. He also says that there's a new job he's working on, and that if Connor wants to make more money, he should be ready to meet up the next day. Just then, Connor goes into the house, and after a while, Mary comes in to ask where he was. Connor says he was working at a construction site, and Mary also tells him that she has gotten her old job back. Connor doesn't look too pleased, but Mary says they could use the money she makes from there. She also tells him not to be worried, because she knows things will eventually be okay. The next day, Connor ditches Travis again and joins Garrett's team. They stop at a restaurant, and while they're eating, Garrett asks Connor why he chose to work with him. Connor says he needs a lot of money, and Garrett asks why. Even though he doesn't want to say anything about it, Connor mentions that his mom is sick, and he needs the money for her treatment. Seeing as he has a good motive, Garrett welcomes Connor to the team and tells him to come outside. Almost immediately, Garrett sets off a car alarm and tells Connor to shut it down. Connor hesitates for a while before he then does it. Meanwhile, Park and Davis start investigating the break-in at the laboratory. They soon discover that someone with great electric powers was part of the team. As they also gather more information about what happened, they decide to start checking around for anyone with that much electric power. Elsewhere, Garrett takes Connor to a place where he starts training him on how to improve his powers. Later that day, Connor also meets Dave to warn him about being harsh to Mary. After the day's work, he then heads home and meets his mom and tells her that he has gotten a new job. She looks very happy for him, and he says that if things work out fine, he'll ensure she gets the treatment she needs in no time. A while later, as Connor goes out to throw the trash, Park and Davis appear to be watching him from afar because he has one of the best electric powers in the city. Davis believes Connor is the perfect suspect because he desperately needs money, but Park says they'll need to keep watching him to see if he does anything suspicious. The next day, Connor and Garrett walk into a bank to do some surveillance and find out specific details before robbing it. After they get all they need, they leave the bank and return at night to start their operation. When Garrett and his team enter the bank, they immediately put down the security officers in the building, after which Connor is told to shut down the alarm system on the vault's door. He successfully gets this done, but discovers that the vault has been cleared out. Garrett immediately asks a bank staff about it, and she says it was cleared earlier in the day. Despite feeling disappointed, Garrett tells Connor to take the little money still left. After this, they all head out of the bank, only to see a police drone in the sky. However, Connor causes a power surge that brings down the drone from the sky. With this, Garrett and the others are able to escape. They head to Marcus's club to tell him what happened, but he appears to know nothing about how the vault was cleared. As they then argue, Copperhead appears to be inside the club. Connor sees her with a gun and immediately tries to stop her, but she hurts his arm with a knife. She then misses her shot at Marcus and eventually gets killed by Rhino, who has a bulletproof body. Shortly after, Connor sees Nia taking some psych. He approaches her and asks if she's all right, and she says she is. As he asks what she does for Marcus again, she heals the wound on his arm and shows him that she's a healer. Connor also realizes that Marcus always has Nia by his side so that she can heal him whenever he's in pain. Before he can say anything, Rhino shows up and tells Nia that Marcus needs her. Connor eventually heads home, only to realize that Mary has found out he has no new job. She gets angry at him, but he says he did what he had to do. Just then, her condition gets worse and Connor takes her to a hospital where he's told that Mary cannot be operated on if he doesn't make a huge deposit. As he leaves the hospital to see what he can do, Park and Davis show up and take him in for questioning. After asking him several questions about his involvement in the latest robbery and the break-in at the lab, Connor says he knows nothing about it. Park presses further and says all he wants is a tip on where to find Marcus, but Connor doesn't give anything up. Park also adds that Marcus's reign as a drug lord will soon end because all his drugs that were seized recently will be burnt in a few days. Because the drugs cost a lot of money, Connor starts to think of how he can take advantage of the situation. Davis suddenly gets angry and insults Connor for not cooperating with them, saying he'll eventually end up like his dad. While the two detectives are then discussing what to do next, Park suggests letting Connor go because there's no proof, but Davis is not too happy with this. 
Connor eventually leaves detention, and Garrett picks him up on his way home. He asks if Connor told the cops anything, but he says he didn't. Connor then says he has a plan to make some money for Marcus and also save his mom. They head over to meet Marcus, and Connor explains his plan to intercept the drugs before they're burnt. Marcus thinks this is too risky, but Garrett says it's something they can pull off. Connor then says all he wants in return is Nia, so she can help heal his mother. As Nia hears this, she walks away angrily, but Marcus says he can get her to agree to Connor's terms. However, Garrett also says he wants half of what Marcus will make from the operation. Marcus doesn't sound too pleased with this, but he agrees to split his earnings. Just then, they start planning for the operation, and before they head out, Connor tells Nia that he'll let her go after she heals Mary. However, Nia says she's tired of being nothing but a healer to everyone. After a while, Garrett and his team head out with Marcus's men to intercept the drugs. Everything goes according to plan, and as Connor shuts down the robot cops and the police van security system, Maddie gets the drugs. Just as she hands it over to Rhino, Marcus's other men kill all the police officers, leaving Garrett and his team shocked. Rhino also kills Maddie, but fails in his attempt to kill Garrett and the others, before he leaves the scene and instructs his other men to finish the job. However, before they can do anything, a drone with robot cops arrives. Garrett, Freddy, and Connor take advantage of this to escape, while Marcus's men are killed. While they escape, Garrett realizes that Freddy is injured and he's losing a lot of blood. He dies on their way, and Garrett is left alone with Connor. Elsewhere, Rhino delivers the drugs to Marcus, and as he gets excited, Nia shows up and asks for the others. Just then, Marcus tells her they're dead and that he's never letting her go until her father pays up everything he owes. Meanwhile, Connor blames Garrett for messing up their plan by being greedy. Garrett tries to defend himself, but Connor makes him see that Marcus played him. Following that, Connor leaves and goes to see his mother, but her condition appears to have gotten worse, and she tells him that he needs to let her go, but he says he can't. He then leaves the hospital and starts thinking of what to do next. Later that day, while Park is taking his daughter for a walk, Travis shows up and hands him a note from Connor, containing a location for them to meet up. Park then meets Connor at a restaurant and says it's too late for him to surrender because several cops are now dead. However, Connor says that even though he'll eventually surrender, he wants to ensure Marcus is caught first. Park takes up this offer because of how desperate he is to catch Marcus. After he then tells his team at the police department that he got an anonymous tip, they invade Marcus's club. Immediately, they enter the club. Marcus runs away with Nia and one of the cases containing the drugs. Before he can escape, Connor and Garrett show up to stop him. Garrett doesn't hesitate to shoot him several times, but Rhino then shows up. Even though Rhino proves hard to beat, Garrett and Connor work together to kill him. Meanwhile, Marcus tries to get Nia to save him, but Garrett ensures he doesn't get a chance to live again. After Garrett kills Marcus, he tells Connor to take Nia to heal his mother. Connor tells her to come with him, but she says her healing powers don't work as he thinks. She then shows him that when she heals people, she also inherits their pains, wounds, or sickness. Despite this, Connor still insists that she comes with him because he doesn't want to lose Mary. He then takes Nia to the hospital and tells her to heal Mary. However, as she starts, Connor has a rethink and eventually stops her, after which he watches Mary take her last breath. Following this, he takes Nia out of the hospital and heads to the police department. He says sorry for what he did and mentions that he's going to turn himself in to try to right his wrongs. The next day, Park and Davis are given medals for their hard work in bringing down Marcus's drug ring while Garrett sells Marcus's drug. Before Connor also heads to prison, he goes to Mary's grave to see her. Much later, Nia also goes to see her dad in prison to tell him that she's now free from Marcus. 